Hey YouTube, welcome to One Love 2008 for Life's uh, channel, my channel. Um, I just received my Make the Cut software in the mail. Sorry, the little red dot. But I just received the Make the Cut software in the mail. And I am so excited to show you guys. I, I've already had the Make the Cut software downloaded on my computer because when you purchase it, of course, you get to download it. Um, you get to download it uh, after you purchase it. But I just got the CD for five extra dollars uh, just in case something happens to my computer or I just decide to I just decide to get another laptop or something. But anyways, um, I wanted to show you something that I learned. Uh, uh, how to do? Uh, basically, I can get an image from uh from my Cricut Design Studio, excuse me, and put it on my put it on my Make the Cuts software. Um, basically, uh, import it, I guess. But uh, let me go ahead and show you guys. So, what you want to do? You want to open up another you want to open up another folder right there you want to open up another folder like I have right here and what you want to do you want to take a you want to take you want to find the square and you want to stretch it out ac across the whole across the whole screen or the whole mat as much as you can as possible and then you want to right click and press set preview color as white so I went on and did that let me scoot it up a little bit for you guys so I did that and push ok alright next we're going to go back to the first folder that was already opened when you open up the software and you're just going to I'm go to Forever Young since that is one of my favorite cartridges go to Forever Young and sorry and I'm just gonna pick which uh, girl I want or silhouette and I really like this one so I'm gonna go ahead and click that one and I'm going to no I'm not I'm gonna do something simple. I like this one. So you choose which one you want and you stretch her out as big as you can get her and then move her to the center. I like moving mine to the center. Alright, now you want to move the cursor or the carrot to the side because you don't want it on your image when you're about to do what I'm about to do alright now now you're gonna right click again uh, inside your image and then you're gonna push set or excuse me you're just gonna right click on your mat and then just click uh, set preview color to black alright now you're gonna go over to the little eyeball thing right here in the corner you're gonna click it preview it and you want it to look just like that so I set it up as uh, I set it up really good so now I'm going to hit my print screen button and it's located on the right side of your keypad or your keyboard so right underneath your uh, minor or my screen. Anyways, um, after you hit the print screen button, you're going to go to your. Oh, you're going to go to your make the cuts software. I'm gonna delete that. Um, and to show you guys, you know, I'm gonna do it at. I just zoomed my mat in at 50% so that I could see my whole screen. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to my import objects uh, button right here. Click it. 
press pixel trace and I save the I save did I save it? I don't think I saved it. Sorry you guys. I think I forgot to save it. Let me see. No, excuse me. I'm going to once I do this, once I print print screen, you're gonna go to so once you hit the print screen button, sorry about that. Once you hit the print screen button, you're gonna go to your paints. Your paint um your paint software on your some people have Inkscape. I use um, my my a laptop comes with print uh paint. So I'm gonna go to paint and then I'm gonna go to the edit at the top and push paste. Then I'm gonna go down to you know have the image right where I could see the whole thing instead of part of it. Then I'll come up here to where it has my select right here where it has the select uh button. Alright, and I'm going to just that's too low. And I'm just going to just frame the whole lady and then I'm going to go up to the top where it says image press crop and my image is in the corner now so now I can press file save as and the longer your file name is the more space that your the more space you take up on your computer so you want to keep it as short as you can so I'm gonna say caprice and then I'm push save and you want to save it as a JPEG so save alright now I'm going to go to my make the cuts software and once you get the hang of once you get the hang of it then uh, it's pretty simple to get easy to get alright so you're going to go to your like I was saying earlier you're going to go to your object uh, import objects button click it sorry you guys you're going to click it press the pixel trace button and then look for your um, file name caprice so I pressed it and I push open and it'll show you you know what it'll look like uh, before you do it but normally it's pretty good depending on you know where you got the image from but next I'm just hit import and I can make it as big as I would like so I'm gonna put mine down here in the corner and hmm, I'll make it a little taller and a little wider alright and there's my lady so I'm going to go to the top here where it has the cut button where it has your scissors button and I have my laptop already hooked up to my Cricut with some paper on the inside of it so I'm going to click the cut button it'll pop up and normally it'll have all these checks where it says Connection to Cricut, cutting mat is lo uh, loaded, uh, cartridge is loaded. Alright, and you're just going to push start. Just going to push start. And you can see. ladies and gentlemen and after you have that cut out you're just going to go ahead and take it off the mat and I love how on the make the cut it shows you where exactly where it's cutting 
right now. So let me zoom in and how complete the cut is. So there it is, and it's done. Come back over to my Cricut. It's not quite done. Sorry, I got too excited. All right, you're gonna unload your paper, and there I have my image. And it looks exactly like how it would when you cut it off the uh, make the cut software. I mean the it looks exactly how it would if you were to use let's see try not to break her head off. Alright, and it looks exactly like it would if you were to use uh the Cricut design studio so there you go ladies and gentlemen thanks for watching